Hey Gun Geeks, how are you guys doing today? How's the feed coming in, by the way? Are we good on audio and video? Uh, if you are having problems with the with the rate of buffering or what have you, usually hitting F5, refreshing your browser is enough to fix that. Uh, the way I usually run the, these live streams is that I will read the conversation, or I'll read the username, and then I'll read their comment or question, and then I'll answer it. And so, almost certainly, there are going to be some mispronunciations. I hope you guys have some patience for me on that. I try to do my best. If you give me some phonetic cues, I will try to remember them and follow them, but yeah. All right. Let's address some of those comments now. Looks like the quality is coming in pretty well, which is lovely. Great, awesome audio and video. Wunderbar. Um, from where is everybody tuning in? I know I saw a couple of our uh, members who joined from overseas, which is pretty rad. Jade and Lance Stone. I believe you guys are quite a bit farther away from Wisconsin than just, say, other parts of the country. Alrighty. And Dmitry Volkov, Winterland, Canada. Yeah, we had our first snow um, in Wisconsin. Well, where, where I live specifically, and it was a little bit sad face. Joe for Beats, who was it that requested the bandana? I forget. Um, there were a couple of people on my Facebook who uh, asked me to wear a bandana for my next live stream. So here we are, bandana with my really messy ponytails because I don't know how to do my hair. I just put things on top of my head and I hope that they look like decent or at least distract people from the fact that I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, Mark Rorig, Kansas City, Missouri. Fringe Sniper, greetings from the capital of evil laws, Sacramento, California. Bill Fenton, St. Paul, Minnesota. Jade, yeah, Germany. Devin Coger, Wytheville, Virginia. That's a pretty city name. Bradley, northern Minnesota here. Lance Stone, got a pleasant 0200 AM here in Czech. Woo, you're up late. Thank you for staying up late to join the chat. That's really sweet. I have... No sleep schedule, like, at all. I think last night I went to bed at, like, I don't know, 5 or 6. The night before, it wasn't actually night. I went to bed at, like, 8.30 in the morning or something like that. I'm all over the place. But it means I'm awake for this. Handgun newbie. Wisconsin! Represent! Mitchell Burke. New South Wales, Australia. Oh, cool. Steve Wallace, across the pond, last time I checked. Hector Rodriguez, Williston, Florida, my second time tuning in. Well, welcome back. Oh, by the way, are is anybody else uh, new or newer to the live streams? Just, you know, out of curiosity. Aaron Manning, good day from Kentucky. Aussie Wombat, good day, Des and Dad of Destiny. Loud and clear. Excellent. Joe for Beats, Ohio here, land of snow already. Yeah. Nathan Lambers in West Central Illinois near Springfield. Shoot Fast Fun, Georgia. Aaron Manning, we actually had a dusting here in southern Kentucky. I guess I shouldn't really complain because it is November and we often, you know, in Wisconsin we'll get snow in October. So I... I guess I'm grateful that it, we hung in there. I just am not really fond of cold weather. It's not, it's not my deal. I'm sorry, I have my, um, let's see, what is it today? I think it's crystal light liquid flavors with a very, very manly flavoring called Palmtini. And it is absolutely delicious, so be jealous. Ah yes, Brazil too. Excellent. Steve Wallace. Oh, whoops, I missed one. Uh, Joe for Beats. Yankee 
is still studying Google Plus, so he may be late. Dot, 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 dot. Really late. Smile. Steve Wallace. Yeah, me too. Someone should open a lawsuit against Google Plus for aggravating YouTube users. Uh, yeah, um, it definitely has been a little bit of a process for me adjusting to the change, but I guess overall, I'm still appreciative that I have this wonderful uh, website available to me to go and make videos, you know, for free and interact with everybody. So, um, the one thing that I was uh, puzzled about was how to start answering comments that, uh, that uh, happened before the switch to, or the integration to Google Plus, but I, I suppose there's going to be just a bit of a learning curve. There's always some, some transition. Um, Charger8924, what happened to Young Guns TV? Uh, I think what happened was that they didn't get enough companies to jump in with their funding, and so they're kind of on a... Advertising. Yeah, advertising, I'm sorry. I don't know what... Whatever. I meant advertising. So it looks like they're on a little bit of a hiatus. If they come back, I'm sure I'll say something about it, but... do no. Nathan Lamberson. As far as weather goes, try getting around when there's 18 inches of snow and 3 inches of ice on the ground when you're on four wheels like I am. LOL. It sucks. Yeah, do not want. I am not super fond. I'm not really in love with driving as it is, but I am especially not... Uh, especially unfond. That's not is that's not even a word. I'm not fond of driving in the snow even more than I am just driving regular. Michael Kohlbecker. Better late than never. Did I miss anything? Oh, not too much. We're mostly saying our hello, seeing where everybody's tuning from where everyone's tuning in and all that good jazz. Shoot fast fun. Brr gonna be in the twenties here tonight. Yeah, I think that's about what we're expecting up in this range. It's it's chilly. I brought out like the fuzzy socks and my glove, my shooting gloves. Jeff Pierpont, I have family in Michigan and they're in a snowmobile riding when it snows. Wondering, is it that big in Wisconsin? Um, there are definitely areas um, where, where there's more space. I mean, we've got a very similar kind of interest span. I had lived one time, uh, I lived for a time in Michigan and the only like the biggest difference I noticed from living in Michigan to living in Wisconsin is that in Wisconsin people don't care about soccer. When I was living in Michigan soccer was still like a pretty big thing. All the kids were on a soccer team and uh, I moved out here and found out that football is just about a religion. But as it turns out I like football. I'm not as passionate as many like lifetime, you know, Wisconsinites, but I do enjoy it, especially when we win. That kind of helps. Bradley, single digits and below zero here with wind chill next yesterday morning. <laughs> do not want. Lance Stone, please don't talk about driving. I still have nightmares for my license trials that I still have to finish. Yeah, I have my license and everything. I have the, the opportunity to drive if I had wanted to, but I... Don't. I don't often drive. I don't prefer to. I don't know. I mean, it's what, you know, it definitely beats walking if, if I have any real distance to travel, but. Nate Schultz. Greetings and salutations. Well, hello. Welcome to our live stream. Mark Rorig. Yo, guys, time for gun talk. Oh, um, we'll tie in guns and weather. How do you guys shoot when it's cold outside? I have a video out, I don't know if people have seen it or not, where I'm all decked out in my cold weather gear um, out at the range in the snow. But what do you guys do? Do you sh still shoot or you just go indoor? Or... Let me get caught up. <laughs> Dan Harrer, there's no hockey in Wisconsin. No, it's not as big. I mean, I definitely, I've had, I had a, a boyfriend of, like ages ages back who was really big into it so I still like it was a factor in some of the friends I had but that was just that one little click uh Brett not sure if you got my comment while I was watching you in my truck because I lost service on my iPhone I'm new and I'm tuning in from please don't cry for me New York well welcome Brett everybody say hi to Brett 
Nate Schultz, when it's cold, I prefer to shoot my finish M39 and pretend I'm finished. That is an excellent idea. <laughs> Aaron Manning, I can't shoot and shiver, lol. Chris Smith, we do the run and guns no matter if it's raining, snowing, cold, etc. <laughs> Devin Coker, I prefer to shoot out in the snow. Jesse Vander Hayden, shoot till fingers and nose fall off. Dude, frostbite. That's hardcore, guys. You're committed. Dmitry Volkov, shooting when it's cold is the best. You have the whole range to yourself. That is definitely a perk, especially if you're relegated to, like, public shooting ranges and you don't have, like, your own property. I found it uh, can be difficult getting the video that I want when I have to deal with, you know, everybody and their brother shooting on the range with me. Like during hunting season, when everybody wants to sight in their rifles and stuff. Steve Shelton, a long time ago, you had mentioned maybe hunting this year with your family. So, did you buck up and grab the 308, 30 at 6, 3030, etc.? Uh, unfortunately, no, I don't have anything prepared or set up. Um, for, for hunting this year. It's just kind of another year where I didn't start making preparations with people and my family, their situation, and I don't even know if they're going this year. So, that's okay. I, there's always next year. I'll get around to it eventually. Uh, Bradley, rifle or pistol? Pistol, not so much during the winter, but rifle, use a full chopper style glove on on the off hand, and the trigger hand gets a removal, removable fingertip glove. Fringe sniper, I'm thinking about buying mechanics gloves to keep my hands warm. <laughs> Jennifer Young, nice Nate, add some skis to that, you'll truly be Finnish. LOL. I have, uh, I think Sirius is the name of the gear. They're shooting gloves, so they have like a rubberized surface on the, the trigger finger. Actually, this whole like section of the glove has a rubberized surface, but the rest is, I don't know, regular, like, glove. They're really warm. And what's, what I like about them is that they're also slim, so that way I don't have a, I don't worry about, like, having a bulky glove in the trigger guard. I'll, but I'll shoot until, like, my fingers get numb to the point that I can't feel the trigger anymore, because then I don't feel like that's safe. You know, if I can't feel when I'm going to pull the trigger, it's kind of a problem. Nate Schultz, in all honesty, when there's a few feet of snow on the ground and a still cold winter day and being the only one on the range, it is about as much of a happy place as I can get. Then I break the peace. Boom! Beautiful. I do like the, the scenic qualities that, that winter has, even if I don't enjoy the whole chill factor. Mark Parton. Pardon me for being late. Sorry, don't worry about it. That's why I have the... The conversation for like an hour and a half is to try to make it a little easier for people to be able to tune in. Oh, and for those of you who are a little bit newer, I will have the video. I, we're recording live right now, but it is recording also. So I will put the recorded video up on youtube.com slash creative destiny after the fact. Um, gosh, where did I leave off with? Uh, I know. Dad, did I get last week's video posted? Or do I have to do that later? No, you're one week behind. You just posted the uh, zombie one. Yeah, I know. I posted that like yesterday or day before. Yeah, so okay. So I have, I'm have. i still working on the live stream from last week. So keep your eye out for that. Hopefully tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Get too many oars in the water. I do. Too many oars in the water. That's a great phrase. Matthew James Stoddart. Hey, what's up? Just got back from the gym. It's a nice warm day here. Summer is on its way. Oh, so jealous. It's chilly over here, and I don't like it. Jade, Joe, I wonder how long they would take to get to me. That package took more than a month from the States. Oh, that is one of the things that bums me out about sending stuff to my brother overseas, is it takes, like, forever to get there. And I'll get all excited about, like, packing something up for him to enjoy and, you know, a little piece of home or just whatever, snacks or treats, and then it'll be like, way forever down the line that he gets it. By the way, uh, for those of you who got Helping Hands Project prizes, did everybody get their prizes? 
Charger8924. I can't do the FD Blitz anymore because of Google+. Plus. Oh, darn. I, I had already integrated the my YouTube and Google+, Plus, so I, I guess I was already kind of running that way, so it wasn't a big deal for me, but I'm sorry you're missing out on that. Uh, Timothy John Larson. Hunting season is coming up here in Pennsylvania, and I am going to go out the first two weeks this year. I'm stoked. Good luck! Are there any other hunters in the audience? Oh, you might find an article. Of the, a wow. Let me try that in English. I'm like tripping over myself today. I think I'm under caffeinated is the problem. Uh, are there any other hunters in the our live stream convo today? Because uh, we totally just posted on one of our writers on thearmsguide.com, Mike Merritt, or Mike Merritt, I actually don't know how to pronounce his last name. Um, he just posted an article today on hunting air 15s so you may find that interesting. Nate Schultz, I think everyone should say special hello to Dad of Destiny, because he's pretty awesome. It's true, he is pretty awesome. Also, remind him that Nate has an RPK available for trade for a certain SIG Platinum Elite. Dad, just you, saying. You mean the one I'm carrying right now. <laughs> Dad says, you mean the one I'm carrying right now. That one. Um, Ruritonum, great slash sad news for me. Just off of a five-month furlough as an aircraft mech, but start night shift next week. Last FOD livestream for me. Oh. Well, we'll miss you, but good luck with your work. I hope that it goes well. And well, Transitioning to night shift is sometimes difficult, so I hope that you ease into that well. Or smoothly. <laughs> Patrick Toscano. Or Toscano. I don't know. Hi, Dad of Destiny. Ooh, Brett. Long-time rifle hunter, first-year bow hunter. Well, if I were looking to get my first bow, what would you recommend? So I'm kind of leaning toward, instead of, like, most of my family members who have bows have compound bows, but I was kind of leaning toward a recurve because I think they're gorgeous and because I like some of the history involved with the recurve. But I don't really know where to start beyond the fact that I have a style of bow picked out. Del Reed, I haven't hunted since I was a teenager, but it's on my bucket list to go on a wild hog hunt here in Florida. Oh my gosh, it's totally on my list too. But I wanted, I was thinking of going to like Texas. Although I can't say I'd mind going to Florida. Bradley, four days here, and I've seen more coyote tracks than deer. Talked with a big game registration station. They have registered 40 deer. Normally they have registers three to 400 by now. The David Davis. I'm a hunter. I finished my hunter's courses already for Michigan. Ooh, Dmitry Volkov is recommending Hummingbird for recurve. I will have to write that down. Hummingbird. Thank you. Matthew James Stoddart. Hunting season is all year round in New Zealand. Deer and wild pig are pests here. They destroy uh, native... I missed the end of that. Lance Stone, I say recurve. Data Destiny, I can't recommend for for obvious re, uh, for obvious reasons. But for a starter, try 70 pounds of pull. It's pretty versatile for my experience. Yeah, I don't know that I could do a 70 pound. I'd like to pretend that I could handle 70 pounds, but I have little T-Rex arms. So that's probably not within the realm of possibility for me. Dmitry Volkov. They're gorgeous bows and they just feel right. Alright, that's worth looking into, at least for me. Tony Silveira says, oh, so, Sil I always mispronounce this, I'm sorry. Silveira? Hey, Dad of Destiny, thank you for your service. Thank you, Dad. He says you're welcome. Matthew James Stoddard. You need a lot of strength to use a recurve bow for hunting. Uh, for me, it would just be for target shooting and yeah, well, that's pretty much it, just for Target. All right, let me read another. Ah, here we go. Ruritonum. I love my night shift. We are a great breed of crazy, and all the prying eyes are gone for the night. If there's a holiday on Tuesday, I'll be back. Yeah! 
Nathan Lamberson, hey Dest, I don't know if you saw, but earlier I posted about shooting shotguns for the first time in a couple weeks. Excited and, and nervous. Oh, how fun. What kind of shotguns are you going to be shooting? As you can see by the poster or whatever um, pic with this live stream, I went shotgun sh shooting just recently and I had an absolute blast. Breached a door, um, worked reloads, um, and switching from... Or, and did slug changeovers. It was all good stuff. Shoot fast fun. I can relate to the T-Rex arms. You should have seen me on the range holding up a Mosin. Woo! I know that feel. Yeah, I think my Mosin's like nine pounds, which is not, I mean, that's pretty standard for a Mosin, but in my arms, after a while, it starts to feel like it like gains weight. Like, how much steel is in this? It's cool. I'm a pansy. I'm all right with that. It's fine. <laughs> I know my limits. Matthew James Stoddart. I'd like to get an English longbow or horse archer's bow. Oh gosh, those would be pretty, but I highly doubt I'd be able to, to manage those with any <laughs> with any regularity. I could maybe get like a pole once in a while. From what I understand, you gotta have some like serious upper body strength to be able to manage those, which is probably not a problem for most of you dudes out there. A little bit of a problem for me. A little bit. Nate Schultz, I swear, if I ever get the chance to hog hunt, I will harvest as many as I can and have a huge pig roast and invite the homeless and anyone who wants to come. Aw, that would be awesome. Um, okay. Lance Stone, English long, longbow? Yeah, two and a half meters to three meters of height per bow. Yeah, exactly. That would probably be like an exercise in futility, but it would probably make for an entertaining afternoon watching me, like, fail ridiculously. Um, Brett, I'm sorry, I don't feel like I know enough to make a recommendation yet. I fell in love with my uncle's bow, so I decided to get the same one, a Hoyt Spider. Ah, Matthew James Stoddard. I have two shotguns. One's a side-by-side, -side, the other is an, um, an up-and-over, both 12-gauge. You know, I don't have, I don't think I have a double-barreled shotgun yet. No, I don't. Actually, the first time I even shot a double-barreled shotgun, whether over-under or side-by-side, -side, was for uh, the cowboy action shooting that I did, which, that was a blast, and that was a side-by-side. -side. Eric Kamichik, the door-breaching video was awesome, Dest. Thank you! I had so much fun. I really wish there had been some more doors. I would have liked to try that, like shooting the hinges technique that um, Austin mentioned when we were recording the Austin's the guy, the uh, firearms instructor from In Extremist Consulting with whom I was working on that video. But alas, we only had one door frame and after I uh, shot, or after I breached the door for the first time, there was no way it was going to stand up to any other kind of breaching fun nonsense. Nate Schultz, my M39 feels much heavier than my na Russian 9130. I don't know. Have I shot an M39, Dad? Shot no, I shot Nate's. Yes. That's right. I totally forgot about that. And if I remember correctly, I was rather fond of it. It's got some punch to it. Hector Rodriguez, does anyone remember the scene from Robocop 2 where the police officers were in the diner, then the two guys decked out with weapons... To, um, come in and rob the store and all the police drew their guns and the bad guys freak out. I haven't seen RoboCop 2. I saw the first one. Oh, did you see they're making a remake of that? I'm actually kind of curious. It looks like it might be, get, might be good. I loved the first RoboCop, but in part because I just think it's hilarious. Nathan Lamberson. I'm doing 20 gauge and 4 tens because I'm not wanting to break my bones, lol. I'm in a wheelchair, so I don't want to flip myself. No, that's, that's probably wise to, to start to start there. I think the first shotgun I shot was 20 gauge. I don't think I've actually ever shot a 410 shotgun. The only time I've shot 410 was through the Smith & Wesson Governor, which, by the way, is an absolute blast. I want to get it just for the novelty of being able to shoot 410 through a handgun. That is so much fun. Rurutonum. Modern compounds are so much better than what they used to be. Even lower draw weights are amazing. 
yeah, my sister has a compound that she's totally in love with, and she keeps trying to encourage me to go get one too, or to shoot more of hers, because she's a, she really enjoys the bow. But I haven't gotten into it as much. I like it, but there's just something about the, like, the response that you get when you're shooting. It's more exciting to me. But it is kind of, it's on my do-want list, just a little bit further down. Brett, I enjoyed when you said, welcome home. Yeah, I'm special like that. If you guys weren't already aware of me being like a massive dork. Well, Spaceman Brown, the Robocop remake is a big mistake. The first one was masterful. Really? I'm still intrigued. I still will probably go see it, but maybe not in the theater. I might wait for it to hit DVD and then Netflix it or something. Uh, oh, Jade. Okay, Des beat me to it with the new RoboCop. Hey! I love movies. What can I say? Lena Kasane. I got my eyes on a Winchester 1887 shotgun. The same from, used, wow, let me try that in English, I'm sorry. The same one from Terminator 2, used by Arnold. Oh, that would be fun. That's part of why I started writing the Guns and Movies segments on the Arms Guide, because it is one of my, my biggest, one of my most favorite pastimes, there we go, of um, like watching movies and then identifying the guns of them. I, like, can't not you know, watch a movie and try to pick what the guns are. Dad. Like this. Sorry, Dad had asked me a question. Well, uh, Jade says, well, the first Robo was rated X. What? <laughs> what? I don't know anything about that. The one I saw was very PG-13 looking. Um, the, the new one is PG-13, so the gratuitous violence will be missing. That's what puts people off. Eh, some people. But I, I think I have a very healthy understanding of, you know, it's movies and it's fun and whatever. So I, I enjoy a lot of the stuff that I guess some people in the media might balk over. I mean, I did end up getting the video game Grand Theft Auto V, so I guess I... That shows you what my qualms are, or rather, lack of qualms are. Anyway, Steve Wallace says, Stealth Hunter, get a 50 to 70 pound, 270 FPS compound bow. Good quality and ideal for budget archers. It's around 250 bucks. <laughs> Matthew James Stoddard, I knew you were a dork when I first saw your videos, lol. Yeah, secret's out. Not that I ever really tried to keep that a secret. One of the big things about uh, what I do with my videos is that they're just me. And it's my journey learning about firearms and the shooting sports. And anytime I glean information, whether through research or through firearms training, I like to try and share it with people. So I don't try to um, come across it with this, this uh, opinion that I've got, you know, I'm some sort of expert or something. I just like sharing and learning. And YouTube has been a wonderful platform for that. Nate Schultz. What? You got GTA 5? Yeah, I already beat it too. <laughs> if you weren't lame and had a PlayStation, I would totally play with you online, but uh, you don't have the real gaming machine, the 360, so... <sighs> Sorry. Irish Mike, Winchester 1873. Yoo-hoo, I'll make you famous. Mark Rorig, still have to see the new Robo yet. Oh, I didn't even realize that it was out already. I just saw some, some references to it. I think I watched a preview for it, but I I didn't think to, to mark when it actually hit theaters. Lance Stone, remake of Orwell's 1984? Well, let's see. Which state union to choose from nowadays? Ooh. I haven't seen, uh... Well, you know what? Let me take that back. I have seen plenty of movies that, like, borrow themes from 1984. 
I really enjoyed the book, but I do not enjoy um, some of those elements of the book that, like some of the Big Brother elements that seem to be creeping into uh, politics that in which, in the day and age that I live. Current politics. Yes, current politics. I would have liked that, that kind of thing to remain fiction. <laughs> Steve Shelton, being a dork is why I've been following you since you've had a handful of funky followers. Yeah, it's, I maybe don't have the same kind of, um, gosh, what's the word? Charisma, as some folks do, but I have fun, and I really, I'm really glad that you guys take time out of your day to come chat with me, whether it's, you know, by leaving a comment on one of my YouTube videos, or sitting here for an hour and a half talking guns and weather and movies with me, which, by the way, I've totally been looking forward to this, like, all week. Ah, Jade, the new Robo is released February 2nd. Okay, so I didn't miss it yet. Cool. Chris B. Hey, everyone. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the chat. I don't know. I missed what the original one was. I don't know. Why are you plus one in, guys? I missed the comment. You should type plus one if you think that should make a bloopers. Oh, oh, that's what I missed. So apparently, type pl typing plus one encourages me to go make a bloopers video. Wow. That was wow. Nate Schultz for that. Thanks, Nate Schultz. Yeah, most of my bloopers are just me being, like, crazy verbose, which I do, like, live right now. You're already sampling, the, like, the worst parts of my videos. Doesn't that make you feel special? Yeah, I'm just poking a little fun at myself. I have, like, seriously, I have so much footage. Just so much footage. It's it's pretty ridiculous. It's possible that I could go through some some, some stuff to, to pull out some bloopers. But, I man. I've got, like, six terabytes of unpublished yeah. footage. I have like six terabytes of unpublished footage, so that would probably take me like, I don't even want to think how many countless hours that would take me to go through to find good bloopers for you guys. And you probably have uh, like 10 videos that are in the works and other 10 that you could do. Yeah. Based on what you're, what you're saying. Yeah. So I've got like 10 that I'm probably working on right now, like maybe eight or 10. And then ten more that I could do beyond that. So um, I have more ideas and than I have time. For sure. Aaron Manning. Live stream is Destiny's blooper reel. See, exactly. <laughs> Thor to Shane. My computer just had a tantrum. Have I missed anything since Destiny freaked out about Robocop being rated X? <laughs> Awkward turtle. Um, not really? Kinda? Apparently I need to make a bloopers reel. I'm not opposed to the idea, but if I do it, it's gonna be like down the road because I've got other projects in the works that I'm focusing on instead. Oh god, here's an idea. Jofa Beat says, Destiny, just burn it all to DVDs and send them all to me. Uh, let's see. How, many, <laughs> how many DVDs is that? Like, I don't know, 500? <laughs> Okay, so 500 DVDs then. Got it. <laughs> Good thing I have your address. I'm going to be mailing them to you for the next year. Brandon Johnson. Better late than never. Hello, all. Well, hello, Brandon. Welcome. Dan Herrer. Is there such a thing as a bad blooper? Um, I suppose times where I maybe, like, I swear. Or, um... Where it's just a, it's a blooper because I said something incorrectly, but it's not funny. It's just like, are you really that dumb? Or did you, you skip a meal today? Or what's your problem? <laughs> Kevin Murillo, you ain't rolling till you have 10 terabytes, lol. And Lance Stone says, nah, 6 terabytes ain't enough. <laughs> you guys... 
Nathan Lamberson, some swearing bloopers are the best. You well, know, the kind of the reason why I don't swear in my videos is to keep it like family friendly because I've had so many people tell me, you know, they watch this my videos with their kids or you know, with their girlfriends or whatever, and I don't want to like sh make people feel uncomfortable because I'm, you know, dropping a curse because maybe I dropped a box of ammo on my toe or something stupid like that, you know? So, I don't have a problem with other people swearing, but I try to keep it out of the videos. <laughs> Nate Schultz, bleeped out swearing is sometimes more funny than the actual swearing. Oh, have you seen um, Unnecessary Censorship? There are some YouTube videos that I watch that make me laugh until I cry, pretty much. I normally watch the video game reference ones, like Skyrim Unnecessary Censorship, and... Uh, like the original video game, because I played it so much, I'm very familiar with what the characters are saying. But then these YouTubers go through and bleep things randomly. And oh my gosh, it results in some really silly, silly video. Donald Broughton. Destiny, do you reload any of your ammo? Not yet. One of those days, I want to get around to it, but I haven't started yet. Rurotonum, heh <laughs> Six terabytes would crash Google+. Plus. Hmm, now that I say that, it sounds like a wonderful idea. <laughs> Charger 8924, don't ever play bleeped out swearing in a hospital. I learned that the hard way. Ah! Nate Schultz, the Skyrim ones, if they're the ones I'm thinking of, they are hilarious. Yes, those. They're ridiculous. Sometimes we watch them over just because it's, um, I don't know, they're funny. Patrick Toscano, I used to be an adventurer until I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> um, Bradley, Des, how accurate have you found your 9130s to be? Oh, well, my dad does pretty well on them, so I'd have to say they're they're pretty accurate. Um, got, we usually shoot, like, what, around 200 yards with those? 100 and 200, thereabouts. Eric Kamichik, Des, you're a lady. I don't imagine you swearing. I try not to make a habit of it, but, you know, once in a while something pops out. I'm only human. <laughs> Dmitry Volkov, Timothy, I feel your pain. Brain? First tech gear. Mouth? Third gear. Ah, oh, I have that problem very often. And Timothy John Larson's comment, by the way, is, My mouth often works much faster than my brain. That equals dumb comments, lol. Yeah, that's, that would be like half of my bloopers there, because I think at one speed and speak at a different one, which is part of why I prefer, like, being able to use writing, written communication, just because, um, well, when you're watching my live streams, you get this, like, full, unadulterated destiny with all of the rambling and taking five minutes to figure out how to say one sentence just the right way or searching for uh, just the right vocabulary word or what have you. And it would just end up making for some really, really boring bloopers. Boring, like your live streams? Yeah, exactly. Boring, like my live streams. It would just be more of this. I don't know what you guys are expecting. I'm not secretly funny. Any funny that I am is like by way of accident. Matthew James Stoddard. The filth that comes out of me and my mates when we're drunk would make you cringe, lol. I'd probably just laugh, honestly. Nate Schultz. Dest, FYI, I have that perfect target <laughs> that perfect target you shot hanging on our fridge. The one you sign. Oh my gosh, you're such a goofball. You give me a run for my money. That's really funny. I still am chuckling over the fact that you actually asked me to, to sign that. Hector Rodriguez. Skyrim? My RP RPG mentality started and ended in Final Fantasy VII. How much have I missed? <gasps> so much! Like, anything ever by Bethesda is pretty much brilliant. In my personal opinion, of course. Because RPGs are my favorite. I really love Bethesda's approach to them. Like, seriously. Like, Fallout and Fallout New Vegas and, um, or I guess that was Fallout 3 New Vegas, but, um, all of the Elder Scrolls games, seriously. 
Love them. Love them. Love them. I've been playing Elder Scrolls games since I was like, jeez, I don't know, 11? Maybe not that, maybe not that long, but over 10 years anyway. Okay. Rurutonum, this is FOD Live. If we wanted studio FOD, we would just watch the video. Yet here we all are at the concert. Aw, well, at least there are 77 of you who are <laughs> fabulously patient to endure my ridiculousness. Oh, yeah? Is he? I, I haven't seen it. Well, hello, Alessio. Welcome. Uh, Lena Kasane. I watched something the other day that made me want to tear my eyes out. The music video of The Fox by El by Elvis. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, oh my god. The first time I watched that movie, that video, I I laughed so hard. Literally, I like, my eyes were watering and... it Because it's so ridiculous. It is. It's completely ridiculous. It's one of the most, like, silly things ever. Hold on two seconds. Yeah. But I know you're not alone in not liking it. One of my, uh, one of my friends and uh, one of the actual fellow writers on The Arms Guide, Stephen Hildreth, he often has comments of, What is with this? The Fox? Why is everyone quoting this? It's not even funny. I'm not one of those, though. I think it's hilarious. And I probably know all the words to it. Yeah, even the made-up ones. Even the non-words. Oh, shoot. Donald wrote... God dang it. How did I say it the first time? Is it Roten or Roten? He said that I pronounced it... I'm, I'm the first one to get his last name right. And now I can't remember how I said it the first time. Buckets! <laughs> Darn! Rewind it. Yeah, rewind. Pause. <laughs> Jesse Vander Hayden, we should totally blitz. What the? What does the fox say? Oh, yeah. Um, they wouldn't even notice. Yeah. Get <laughs> Nate Schultz. If anyone here plays Grand Theft Auto V on PS3, my PSN is NSZ85. Add me. Do it. Yeah, if you were on a real game system, I would totally add you onto my Grand Theft Auto crew. But um. <laughs> Clearly, you're uh, behind the times, so I'll just offer you my pity instead. But you know what, though? The first time um, this year, PS3 I'm sold. Mm. Xbox. I remember that. Or in the month of November, it's the first time yeah. it's happened since, you know, who knows when. So if you guys didn't hear what my dad just said, um, we found out that P the PS3 finally outsold Xbox 360 for the month of November. Oh, October, sorry. The month of October. Because they had a... Or for the first time in, like, ever? Ages, at least. But uh, they they did something smart. I totally got to give them credit for this. They had, a like, a bundled deal where they sold PS3s with a Grand Theft Auto V, a copy of Grand Theft Auto V. And that game was massively anticipated. So, of course, it prompted a lot of people to go and buy PS3s, like, just to get the game. Or just because it came with the game. Um, Irish Mike. Looking at a Springfield M1 Garand stamped Eagle and 3 Star by the Department of Defense. $1,400. Buy or pass? I would have to do some research I've on that. I've seen him go for about a grand, but I don't know about these 3 Star and DOD. Is that Dad's saying he see them go for about a grand, which is about what I've seen, but... He doesn't know about the the three star and the defense department oh, how much and how much that up. how much that adds the adds to the price or to the value rather. It's close. So, yeah. I probably would pay twelve for it if it's you know makes it more rare. Dad says he'd probably pay twelve for it if it makes it more rare. <laughs> Dmitry Volkov, I'm the only younger person I know who doesn't play video games. I feel old. Uh, I know plenty of people who don't uh, who don't play video games, but that's something I kind of grew up with. One of the things that my family has always done together is, you know, we watch movies together, but we play video games. It's a a family activity. Shooting is also a thing. like shooting for my family anyway, because we're cool like that. All right, let me read some more of these comments. Crispy, the live stream is really breaking up for me. Dang it. Hmm. How is it coming in for everybody else? So far, 
on my little indicator that tells me the quality of streaming. Uh, it says that I've been, I have perfect streaming at the moment, so. Steve Shelton, tell Dad to pull up a chair and have a chat. He's chatting a bit. He's watching, anyway. Dimitri Volkov, I enjoy watching other people play, but it's not for me. <laughs> Matthew James Stoddart, I'm too broke to get a PS3. I, can't, I uh, was planning on getting the Xbox One, but then I decided, well, if I get the Xbox One, that takes out of my, like, gun purchasing fund, and I decided I would just wait. And I won't be an early adopter. I'll wait until they have, like, a second iteration or something. There are always, like, bugs the first time a, console's, a new console's released anyway. Alessio Baldi, PC gamer, through and through. Consoles are only good to be used the t as a target at the range. Oh, ouch! That is how I started, was uh, PC gaming. Good old um, Age of Empires. Yeah. And Red Alert, Command and Conquer. Okay. Let's read some more comments over here. Let's see if we have some more gun ones instead of uh, video games. Do do do. Reading some comments. Oh, good. Landstone says that the quality is coming in pretty darn good for the crappy net he has now. And Mark Parton says, all good here. Timothy John Larson, coming in good here. Yeah! Um, going off of Alessio's comment about using consoles as a target, uh, what do you guys use as targets other than, you know, paper? If I get the chance to shoot steel, I love it. So much fun. But if you guys are in the in there have the means to shoot some PS3s or Xboxes or watermelons, what do you prefer? <laughs> Jofa Beats. Mist drove me crazy. Oh, I haven't beat that. I think I like started it. Dad beat it though. I haven't. Oh man, what was that other game too that was Amnesia? Mit my um I had a friend who started me on that one, and I was, like, terrified of it, and I, like, started it, and I never finished, because I didn't want to play it by myself, because, I don't know, it freaked me out for some reason. Then again, I did it, I was introduced to it several years ago. Uh, Chris, pumpkins, Hickok 45 style, hee <laughs> hee. Dmitry Volkov, steel silhouettes mostly, oh, that's still plenty of fun. Chris Smith, steel, sometimes paper, or plates, ooh, like, like, plates like paper plates or like ceramic plates because I imagine that would be really fun and a lot of mess to pick up afterward. Lantstone nothing nothing much except paper. If we take our air stuff then well people. Hee <laughs> hee. Man when I was in high school I had so many friends who were really big in the airsoft thing and I just kind of chuckled at the time because I'm like because they'd get like so excited about it. But once you actually get your own airsoft stuff and start playing around with it, it is tons of fun. And I did not give the, the, those high school friends enough credit because I totally get it now. Hmm, Dmitry Volkov has a question here. Rifle optics question. Aim point, EOTech, or Trijicon? Um, I guess it depends on the use. Um, I prefer EOTech, I guess, for close quarter combat, and then an ACOG um, with Trijicon for, like, mid-engagements. That's just for the little bit of um, exposure I've had to them, though. So, what do you guys prefer? Oh, here's a couple more answers to that other question I had. Um... <laughs> Jade says, Amnesia is really friggin' scary. Don't play it in the dark. That's what I was doing. Playing it in the dark with one of my friends at like 3 in the morning. And so then, of course, I go to bed and I'm like, <gasps> Monsters! Because <laughs> I have a really overactive imagination. Ooh, Thor to Shane says, I got my first AR lower this week. Yay! Congratulations! What'd you get? My lower is an LMT. Ooh, Steve Shelton, Tic Tacs, 22 Plinkster style. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Shoot fast fun. Hello Kitty, Lala, DVRs, empty spray paint cans, paper, steel, the list goes on and on. 
Lance Stone, so, VZ58, anyone? I haven't shot one yet. Uh, Nathan Lamberson, Jade, I too own an Airsoft 1911. Dmitry Volkov, Lance, I have a VZ58, it's my trunk gun! Uh, Devin Coger says, Trigicon, try power. <laughs> Chris Miller, I could devote a whole other live stream to Airsoft. <laughs> Nate Schultz, I cannot tell you how many 911 calls I have received from concerned citizens stating, There are people outside running around with assault rifles! They always end up being Airsoft. Alessio says, Alessio Baldi says, Steel and aluminum. I always look for scrap metal to be used as a target when I'm working at sites. Well, that's a, that's a good idea. Chris Miller, I just bought a steel target from Challenge Targets. I've also been using pumpkins left over from Halloween. Irish Mike, thanks, Dad of Destiny. Going to offer 1,000 and 1,200 max. Hmm, that sounds pretty wise considering what, what it's going for. Unless it's a fake, right. I would have to do so much research before being able to feel comfortable identifying that. And I, even then, I might not get to that point. But, hey, if it is. And Nate Schultz says, LMT, top of the line. Well, thank you. I did do research before I went and uh, picked out my, my first AR parts. But now that I have the first one assembled, I can't say I really built it. Because I didn't, like, from the ground up build. I just, like snapped a couple of parts together but now that I have that experience I definitely want to get into greater depth and start like from the ground up like getting a stripped lower stripped upper and going from there I think it'd be fun just the whole process that and well one of my friends has this really great series on building AR-15s on the armsguide.com so that's pretty helpful Nate <coughs> Schultz <coughs> Ruitonum. I shot a lot of 22, so I'm cutting up, cut, wow, cutting up some cutoff pipes and hanging them. It can create some interesting tunes. Oh, yeah. Um, I bet you that would sound a lot of, that would be a lot of fun. Nathan Lamberson, if I had to choose between pellet guns or airsoft, pellet guns all the way. Oh, man, I had so much fun with our pellet guns as a kid. We had a couple of them growing up. I don't know what happened to them. They're probably still at my grandparents' house somewhere, actually. <laughs> Brandon Johnson. I am a dirt shooter. Uh, Lee Nakasane. I have no choice but to use paper targets at the public range, and they cannot be human silhouettes, standard targets, or zombie animals. Wow, that is really restrictive. Uh, Ruitono. For AR-500 steel, see your local welding shops if they have any 3 8 in, uh, laying around and if so ask for a price I got two 12 inches and two 8 inch plates for 75 bucks nice Jade oh how's the rifle from the last stream coming along desk that tactical sniper rifle I forgot its name oh the SOCOM 2 that I had I don't know that it, yeah. it's a sniper rifle I haven't really done anything to it this past week I, think it's I got some um, kind of weird that within reach not you have things like this next so on my writing desk, I just have these. Just, like, they're just out. So I've got, oh, what is the, Sillier and Below ammo. Yeah, I've got the Double Op Buck here, and then Slugs. I think these are, I don't know if they're rifled or not. These are just, yeah, these were a lot of fun. This, these are left over from the that shoot that I did with the, yeah, with in extremists. I couldn't think of their name for a second there. Yep, I just kind of have, like, s stuff around. Y'all would probably laugh if you saw my, my desk. It is, a, like, a disaster zone. Because I'm one of those, like, creative chaos people. Alright, let me read a more, some more comments. There have been a whole bunch while I was sitting here chatting. Droning on. Um, Lance Stone, there are three kinds of airsofters. The I don't care, I shoot. The I am a military model. Just don't dirty my gear. And then my kind. Let's get as, as close to the original unit as we can. I think that is 
part of the intrigue for me in Airsoft is that you can get gear that very closely uh, resembles and operates in a similar fashion to like the real deal, if you will. As far as like tr like trigger training, just they're getting some trigger time in to train things like sight picture and grip and that. I mean, airsoft's pretty hard to beat. Bradley, ha! Your desk <laughs> sounds like mine. Yeah, I'm not what you'd call a neat freak. I'm like the opposite of that. There's always a trail of destiny around. So you always can find me. You just follow the trail of my stuff. Much to any person that I'm living with's dismay. <laughs> Dad is sighing in dismay. Confirming that. Jade, damn, that's like steel bearings in that shell. Yeah, uh, they're like just, they're almost 9 millimeter diameter and there are 13 of them in these little guys do not want I would ugh, that would mess somebody up Lance Stone or Jade says to Lance Stone well duh but getting a real steel piece is hell in Germany so I have to settle for this <laughs> Hector Rodriguez as Bruce Campbell would say this is my boomstick I love those movies. I had my dad watch them with me one time, though, and he was just like, Nope. <laughs> I guess they're a little bit too silly. Nate Schultz, LOL, TOD, Trail of Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Crispy, you should have reached that door with dragon's breath. Yo, Toshul. There you go. Just a little nerd rage for you. For those who don't play Skyrim, that is the, the, the shout that you can use that summons fire for your main character. Because I'm cool like that. Anyway, guns! Yeah, guns, firearms, shooting. Uh, Jodine says, I picked up a few guns this week. Walther PPX M1, Chiapa MC27, another LH9, but... FDE frame and no rail. Robert's Defense Super Grade Stainless 5.0. How do you like that, that Walther PPX, by the way? When I saw them at SHOT Show, the, the guy that I spoke to, the, the rep for Walther, was just um, in love with the idea, I guess. He was definitely doing his advertising thing. It was funny. He's like, I call it the PP Wow, because everybody who sees it says wow. And I'm like, that is so cheesy. I love it. Um, but I haven't actually gotten to shoot the thing. I've seen them at gun shops since then. They look kind of bulky, but that's not necessarily a, an eliminating feature. That means I'd never shoot one or whatever. Nathan Lamberson Dest, ever used any Spectra shot shotgun ammo? No, I don't even know that I've heard of that. I would have to go and look at that. Whoa, I missed a whole bunch of plus ones. Oh, <laughs> I think that everyone should remind Destiny that we want a boober real ASAP. Mm -hmm. Type plus one. Scott Messino, I agree, Dad of Destiny. I never understood the appeal either. It's okay. I'm just really easy to entertain. That's That sums it up right there. Actually, that sums up a lot of the, like, poorer movies that I, that I enjoy. Is I'll watch them because I think they're funny. Because they're poorly done or whatever, but... I don't know. I'm easily entertained. My mom teases me. She says it makes me a cheap date. I'm like, oh... Thanks, because that doesn't really sound very complimentary when you put it that way. Uh, Nathan Lamberson, it's colored ammunition for bird hunting. So when you shoot, when shooting in groups, you know who got the bird. Oh, that's clever. I've never gone hunting. So, oh, um, by the way, seeing as how we're an hour in and we only have a half an hour left, holy cow, um, we should do the FOD Blitz for those of you who are 
uh, who haven't done an FOD Blitz with me, what I do is I ask you guys to join me so we can have like a, a blitzing team to go over to a one particular YouTuber, one video that I've picked out from this YouTuber, and leave a comment on their video. Just, you know, something simple like FOD sent me, FOD Blitz, Fate of Destiny sent me, or what have you. But basically we're just, as a group, showing a little bit of love to another YouTuber. And usually I pick channels that are smaller um, or just channels that have really helped support my YouTube efforts. And that is the case with today's YouTube channel, uh, Never Enough Ammo. He has like 35,000 subscribers, so I wouldn't call him a small channel, but um, I'm sure he'd still appreciate a little bit of YouTube love. And he has been a viewer and a supporter of the Fate of Destiny channel since I had like 1,000 subs. That, and I just think he's a really great guy. So uh, the video that I chose is Handgun Buyer's Guide. So let me go ahead and I'll pull up the video. Do, do, do. It's not the latest video. It's not the latest video. Yeah, so you will have to search for it. But I like it, so that's enough excuse for me. And then uh, go stop by that. Go stop by that video and say hello. Oh, and I will go and read your comments. So if you have something particularly ridiculous, I will be particularly ridiculous reading it. So have fun. Go go go! All right, I just pulled up the video. So now, whenever your comments start coming in, I will be able to read them. Aw, oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. I'm waiting for my page to load the comments, sorry. This may not even work with Google Plus. Yeah, Google Plus is a little bit wonky, so we'll give it a shot. Yes. Hey, there we go. Now they're coming in. 14 seconds ago. Neanderthor. 66. This is the most unoriginal FOD Blitz comment you will receive. Very possibly. Shoot fast fun. Blitz, 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 FOD, Blitz. Alright, I'm refreshing so I can get some more comments to read to you guys. Oh, okay, it, went, it switched my view from newest to top comments. I'm like, what is all of this? Guns for good. Ah, FOD Blitz. Volkov 556. What does the test say? Well, FOD Blitz, mostly. Refreshing. Oh, YouTube, can you stop putting top comments and can you do newest first the way I told you to? I am on the comments page. It doesn't update. It's not updating on mine as it is on yours. I don't know why. It's just not. So, I'm still, I'm using Chrome like you too. It's just, oh, maybe that's why. Maybe I should be using Firefox. Okay, anyway, comments. Should I be here? Google Plus says dot, 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 dot. I mean, oh, there we go. Now it updated. It's just being slow. Okay. Anyway, I was reading a comment. Uh, should I be here? Google Plus says dot 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 dot. I mean, Destiny says that we must blitz you. So, consider yourself blitz did it did. And I did not share this on Google Plus. Neener, neener, neener. Lance D. Stone. I'm sorry, my lad, but your channel has just been struck by the FOD blitz. Surrender! Resistance is futile! 40 cal jeeper. What does the fox say? FOD, 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 FOD blitz. Twice. <laughs> I tried to do that rhythmically and then I just kind of fell off. Like, I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't handle the pressure. Steve Shelton. Oh no! Here it comes! Wait for it! Wait for it! FOD blitz. NSC85. So. A priest and a rabbi walk into a place. Oh my god, FOD Blitz! Eric K. Prepare to be invaded by the FOD Blitz T Rex army. FOD Blitz! Emerald Knight. Fate of Destiny FOD Blitz. 
Alessio B. On the tune of the bearded ninja cadence. Oh man, I don't know this. I see the long-haired lady alone upon the hill. Her name is Fate of Destiny, and Blitz, I know she will. Fate of Des- Fate of Destiny. F-O-D Blitz. That was cute. Carrie and Cowgirl. F-O-D Blitz, baby. Nathan Lamberson. Oh, yes, it's time for the invasion. The invasion of Fate of Destiny. F-O-D Blitz time. I felt like that needed a really bad evil laugh. Spaceman Brown. I tried to think of a witty comment for the FOD Blitz, but I think I failed. Crispy. FOD Blitz. Feel the love. CJ Wilson. Blitz. Blitz. FOD Blitz. Although it's spelled more like Blights. Blights, F O D Blights, because there's a Y, because that's fancier. La 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 la. Ruitonum, never enough Blitz, F O D, F O D, F O D, F O D, and a plus one for a bloopers reel. <laughs> you guys are brats. C J Wilson, me llamo es Cristobalos Blitz. Lena Casane, have you ever blitzed with the devil in the pale moonlight? On behalf of FOD, the real bad girl. You know it. Christopher Miller, fear the unstoppable FOD T-Rex army. You, sir, have been blitzed. I'm fancy. Kevin Murillo, dude, what's mine say? FOD, dude, what's mine say? Blitz, dude, what's mine say? FOD, dude, what's mine say? Blitz, dude. Sweet. They'll read. Fate of Destiny's gun geeks have found you. You have been blitzed. Patrick, <laughs> Patrick Toscano. I can't think of anything clever to say, so I'll say I'm sitting naked. FOD blitz. <laughs> Devin Coger. FOD blitz. What's in the box? Matthew Stoddard. I can't believe I'm doing this. You just got blitzed. By F.O.D. With, like, 12 exclamation points. Dying. Uh, French Sniper, beware. The end is near, you hear? F.O.D. Blitz. Bare Arms 0914. Because F.O.D. said so. Waffen 40. F.O.D. to the Blitz. Power. Lutz Mowinski, this is the FOD Army, and you have been blitzed. USPS 016, FOD Blitz. That was a lot. You guys are awesome. You're rocking it. All right, let's see. I'm just making sure that I didn't miss anything. Nope. Dude, you guys, that was rad. Seriously, that was really awesome. That and... Everybody that we blitz, or that we have blitzed anyway, has appreciated having a little extra love on one of their videos. And I like to be able to work together as a team and do that for people. Yeah, Landstone, well, tea and crumpets and God save the Daz. Ha <laughs> Oh, Dad says there's one more, so let me... Oh, yes, I did indeed get one more. Scott Lee Crew 77 Yankee Marshall says you got a purdy mouth. FOD Blitz. Hashtag deliverance. Uh, oh, Matthew Stoddard. Matthew Stoddard. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I got the update, too. FOD just flitzed you. Yeah, 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 yeah. LOL. I need a bourbon. LOL. From the land of the long white cloud. Embarrassing my fellow Kiwis since now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh oh. We got another update here. <laughs> NSC 85. A second blitz, just to remind Dad of Destiny about the RPK. Lols. Man, you know, you gotta give the guy credit for trying. He sure is a persistent there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Mark Parton. The FOD T-Rex Army is here to blitz your channel. Yes, indeed. 
Y'all blitzed the heck out of it. That was fantastic. Oh my gosh, you guys in your plus ones, you're killing me tonight. Scott Messino, you missed mine. Wow. Oh, where is yours? Let me. How did I miss that? I'm so sorry. You know what? Let's try it like this. I know how to press buttons on my keyboard, really. I'm looking for your comments specifically. And I'm not finding it. What the hey? Brett, my girlfriend just walked into the room and screamed at me because she thought I was watching some sort of triple X webcam show. Oh, no. Oh, I'm wearing clothes! I promise! It's a sweatshirt. It's like one of my least attractive outfits, but it's warm, and I really like purple. Brett's girlfriend, come back. I'm really sorry. It's not what you think it is. <laughs> Joe Favitz, you never give up, do you, LOL? No, indeed. Nate's quite persistent. He really wants that, uh, that Platinum Elite. Let me just refresh real quick here. Do do do, I'm refreshing. And I sing songs to myself. Not good ones, though. I just make them up. There we go, Bo Cantrell. I'm late, sorry. The kid was screaming. Blitz! <laughs> um, I'm still kind of chuckling over over Brett's um, circumstance there. Sorry about that, man. I promise it is not like that. <laughs> Bradley, LOL, it's just gun porn. Yeah. Jofa beats, Destiny the feed just rewound and replayed. Ooh. Brett, it's okay. She understood once I showed her the events details section on the top. Okay, good. I was, I was gonna be sad. Oh man, not no longer are we content with plus ones. We have plus 18 and plus 19 and plus 25, but in Roman numerals. <laughs> Scott Messino, put away your credit card, Brett. Oh my goodness. There's so many plusings. Charger8924, would you ever shoot a 577 uh, Tyrannosaur rifle? Yes. Ooh, Nate Schultz has an excellent comment here. Destiny, are you or are you not going to be on a live Google Hangout show tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I will. I will be on Handgun Newbie's uh, Google Hangout tomorrow. I believe that is going to be its 7 p.m. Central. Handgun Newbie, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Because I have it written down somewhere because I have the memory of a goldfish. What was I saying? Oh my goodness, you guys, you're plussing a lot. Plussing. And I don't even know where it started, but we're up to plus 27 now. Nate Schultz, these are all pluses for the blooper reel. Ah! <laughs> what? Oh, we just skipped up. Eight, uh, Charger 8924 says plus 54! Yeah, <laughs> Lance Stone, three second memory, wow. You know, it's funny. Do you think my memory would be better, like working in the restaurant industry and having to remember orders and stuff? But I, I have like that capacity and that's it until it gets into the long-term memory. So I'm really bad with like names, especially if I'm trying to remember like actors and actresses or um, musicians or whatever. Hmm, Scott Messino says, yeah, the comment section keeps pausing and stalling. <laughs> Kevin Murillo, we're showing we can count. Yes. Showing you can count. <laughs> Pret Patrick Toscano. I quit. Too drunk to count. Ah, Jofa Beats. The hangout is tomorrow at 7 Central. I was right! Yeah! Oh man, all this conversation makes me very thirsty. Nate Schultz says, 7 p.m. CST or 1900 hours if you prefer 
for Destiny and Nate, or NSC85, if you know him better that way, live tomorrow. So if you want more of this, like, ridiculousness, hopefully I'll be able to rein in a little bit of my ridiculousness. No promises on Nate's, though. Um, by the way, we're going to be running another giveaway pretty soon here for the Arms Guide. Speaking of Nate, Nate and I will be running that together. Because that's what cool people do. We give people stuff. Yeah! So when is that? Thing? The, the I don't know. I don't have a date picked out. We're still working on the... How? So, the, the details. Yeah, we're still working on the details. Way to put me on the spot. That's nah, cool. Um... So stay tuned. I will have some updates on that. You'll probably hear about more of the the details in the next live stream before you hear it on YouTube. Is it a secret? It is. It's a secret. Yes. Because I said so. But yeah, now that the Helping Hands project wrap up, wrapped up, and it went so beautifully, and I'd really like to do another one, and Nate also wanted to do another one, and we both have in common the arms guide, so it just kind of seemed like that's what we should be doing. So we're working on that now. Lance Stone, can I join the giveaway? Totally. Do it. Yes. I'll ship internationally. I had a couple prizes I've shipped. I've shipped a number of things overseas. I've shipped to Philippines. I've shipped to, to Ireland. I've shipped to the UK. I've shipped to Brazil. Um, Australia. I have shipped to Australia. I have shipped to New Zealand. So, international is not really a problem. Obviously, if I'm sending something internationally, it's not going to be like a gun or something. You know, I'm, I'm going to make sure it falls within legal limitations. But, totally, you could still get stuff like, I don't know, <laughs> t-shirts. My sister is listening slash watching me do this live stream. And she just held up a piece of paper for you guys. It says plus one with like eight Give exclamation it to me. points. Give it to me. Here. Tell them this is what they've done. This is what you have created. <laughs> Sister of destiny. <laughs> She's also waving and laughing and saying hello. And it's cool, though, because with her, like, 12 exclamation points, she loves me. And a wink face, also. <laughs> Matthew James Stoddard. Damn, I was hoping you would smuggle a Colt 45 into New Zealand, lol. Dude, if I had a Colt 45, ain't no way am I gonna be uh, giving that away. I don't think I would, I would not be able to pry my fingers off of it to ship it to anybody. Page of... Um, that page of paper I just dropped here, but yes, so you guys created this, just so you know, okay. My sister was supposed to be working on homework, but instead, you guys are totally distracting her. Not that I'm sitting here talking for the next hour and a half. I know, you're already finished. I'm just giving you a hard time. Everybody's waving to you and says hello, though. She's waving like this. <laughs> because I'm not the only goofy person in my family. <laughs> Kevin Murillo, frame it, Des! It's with love! It is with love. I should show you guys a picture she drew of my dog. It was pretty awesome. He's riding a unicycle and he's wearing a top hat. It's fancy. You should combine the arms guy giveaway with yeah, there's got to be some way that we can work you guys, all of the you live streaming gun geeks, into our the arms guide giveaway. Think on this. That would be really cool. <laughs> Patrick Toscano, Sister of Destiny needs to video bomb. LOL. Ha! And Nate Schultz says, ha ha ha, unicycle Aries. The middle. Por favor. This is Erez on a unicycle. She was bored one day and she, she asked me, Dest, what should I draw? And I said, she should totally try drawing Erez riding a unicycle, but wearing a top hat because he's a very fancy puppy. 
So, that's what she drew for me. And I put it up on the fridge because it's glorious. And if you don't agree with me, I don't know if we could be friends. I'll just fight you. Little fisticuffs. <laughs> Nate Schultz says, ha ha ha, yes, SOD is epic. Mark Rorig, hey, sister of destiny, you've been blitzed. Oh, she's feeling loved over there. <laughs> Timothy John Larson, thinking, thinking, thinking. Smoke. Ah, brain on fire. Oh, somebody asked something about my dog. Aries is an American bully, which is a derivative of a pit bull, but with more Staffordshire Terrier bred in. And it gets rid of the dog aggression. So he just absolutely loves everything and everyone, unless it's squirrels, basically. In which case, he would he loves them in the way that he'd like to eat them. He's not uh, not the best with my cats. I mean, he hasn't eaten them, thankfully. But... Yeah, he he whines, he cries, and his mouth, like, he drools, which is super attractive, because he's got these floppy jowls, which is wonderful. And, uh, he, sh he quivers. He, like, sits there and, like, he just looks, like, so terrifically excited, because he would really like to eat them. Yeah. Patrick Toscano. Or Toscano. I'm sorry. One of these days, you'll have to tell me which one's the right way. Um... My dog has an underbite. Is that weird? Oh my gosh. Uh, one of my aunts, her she has a little mutt, but one of the <laughs> ancestors, I suppose, in this dog's line had a pretty severe underbite because this dog is like really skinny with this huge underbite that pokes out with these, these big teeth. I call him orc jaws because he looks like an orc and his goofiest thing of ever. Kevin Murillo, you ain't rolling if you don't like if you don't blitz like Oprah, lol, blitz, blitz for you, blitz for you, blitz for everyone. Timothy John Larson, where can we catch this Google Hangout? It will be on Handgun Newbies channel. Scott Messino, I have a Dutch accent. Isn't that weird? Well, have you ever been to the Netherlands? If you hadn't, then I'd say that would be weird. But just like a random Dutch accent, I guess is kind of a little out there. OMG! Seriously, you guys? Nate Schultz says, I think we should do one more plus one for bloopers. Ah! You're killing me, Smalls! You're killing me! Brett, this has been the fastest one and a half hours of my life. I guess time really does fly when you're having fun. I'm glad I found out about this live stream. Thank you for your YouTube and your live stream videos, Dest. Aw, that's very sweet. I Seriously, I do look forward to these every time. They always fly by, and I always enjoy chatting with you guys. And I really appreciate you guys putting up with my goofiness and how totally awkward I am on camera with no filter, no script, not even a note card with ideas to talk about. Nothing. So... Thank you for sitting here and talking with me for an hour and a half. It's really cool. I enjoy it. And um, if you're looking for more Fate of Destiny type content, um, pop over to the Arms Guide and let me know what you think about the written articles that I have up there. We've got a great team, so not just me writing things. And we post articles every day. Also, um, stay tuned for the next YouTube video that will be going live this Thursday, so that is in addition to the Handgun Newbie chat that I'll be doing on the Google Hangout, hosted by Handgun Newbie, rather, that I'll be doing tomorrow at 7. Um, I think I got all of the things that I wanted to say. Oh, thanks again for blitzing, by the way. I really enjoy that, especially reading some of your ridiculous comments, or singing them, or shouting them, or whatever I'm doing. Um, it's plenty of fun for me, and I appreciate that I asked you guys for help, and you help out some other YouTube channel. That's really cool. I'm already looking forward to next week, next week's live stream. It's going to be fun. One of the things that I'm proud of you regarding, and that I don't mind seeing in life, is the fact that um, you don't ask for help for yourself. You ask for help for other people. Thank you, Dad.
Because it'd be easy for you to say, hey, everybody, help me. Uh, if you didn't hear what my dad was just saying, he was making me blush a little bit. He was saying that he really likes that I, when I ask for help, I don't ask for help for myself, that I ask for it for other people. And that it would be really easy to ask for help for myself, but he thinks that because I don't, that it's noble. And I appreciate that he feels that way. That's very sweet. Oh, we have like five more minutes left, so we'll throw in a few more comments before I have to say goodbye. Let stone, but dust, it's your goofiness that makes you awesome, other than shooting things. Oh, the shooting things is easier to make look cool, though. Me being goofy, not so easy to make look cool. Matthew James Stoddard, I have a YouTube channel, but no vids. <laughs> Kevin Murillo, aw, shucks, Dad of Destiny. Yeah, my dad's awesome. No joke. Steve Shelton, sorry, I know this is crazy, but I have a gun question. What? What do you think this is? Firearms-related conversation? Ridiculous! Um, he says I'm looking for a good 50 cal bullet for my muzzle loader. Plus one, by the way. <laughs> Y'all with the plus ones, honestly. Sneaky, too. Shoot fast fun, says Des. Thanks for making videos and putting up with our random plus ones. <laughs> Uh, Donald Broughton. Thanks, Destiny. This was my first time doing the live stream. Well, I'm glad that you had fun. I'm really happy that you decided to join our conversations. Hopefully I will see you back next Tuesday. That's a song by Kesha, by the way. I'll see you next Tuesday. Only it sounds more like Kesha than me imitating Kesha. I wasn't trying to sing very good, or very well. Alright, let me l read some more comments, guys. <laughs> Lance Stone, can I borrow your dad for a day, Des? Pretty please? Do I? But then who's going to take me to the range? I don't want to go by myself. Charger8924, we need to email Livestream to get an FOD to a three-hour broadcast. Oh my land. That would be a really long conversation. I'd have to have like, I don't know, like snacks or something. Just like three hours of just talking. Woo! That'd be a workout. Timothy John Larson, you are noble and what you do is incredible. Wow. That was really, really nice. Thank you, Timothy. Wow, I think that's maybe more credit than I deserve. Hector Rodriguez, would the plus one thing become like a Doctor Who type event? Like, corner of the eye stuff? Ooh, yes, because um, our perception filters are functioning. <laughs> Dad's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Dad's not a Whovian. Dude, day of the doctor. I'm super stoked about that. I'll probably watch it on the internet, though because I don't have cable or anything. But still, ah, it's gonna be awesome! Um, okay, I missed some comments. There were a whole bunch. Oh, my Atlanta. Um, oh, by the way, I do have, um, a video coming up for next week that I've been waiting to release for a little bit. So I'm looking forward to seeing um, seeing some feedback on that. And that will be releasing, as per usual, Thursday. Um, I try to get them out around noon, uh, barring some sort of technical difficulty. Internet hates me or Google Plus is um, making <laughs> or is revealing my ineptitude for operating computers, something like that. Ooh, Thor to Shade, what season should I start Doctor Who? Gosh, that is a really good question. I started with um, the Ninth Doctor, so uh, Christopher Eccleston. I guess that would be considered first season because that's when they relaunched Doctor Who in, gosh, what was that, like 2005, I think it was? But I do have on my um, my 
Netflix instant queue, or I guess it's called my list now. I do have, uh, oh, Mike Zaleznik. 1%, I'm out. Oh, bye. Oh, shoot. Well, we are, like, out of time. But anyway, Thor, start wherever. Funny, uh, funny thing is, there's a quote around the internet. You never forget your first doctor. So, you'll end up comparing each successive doctor to whoever the first one was that you experienced, or that you saw. I guess that's food for thought for ya. Uh, see you guys next week. Same bat time, same bat channel at new.livestream.com slash fate of destiny. I had a wonderful time, guys. Thank you. Oh, Aaron Manning says, hope you had a have a great rest of the week, Destiny. Hugs. Bye!